Gallery's beauty collection in a time when designers are throwing around the words empowerment and armor with a certain measure of desperation, Max Mara hit the mother load of muses with U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who wore the brand's 2012 brick red, high collar coat in December during a showdown over the government shutdown with President Trump. The photo of her emerging from a meeting in the West Wing, looking like a badass, went viral, and Max Mara is reissuing the glamour style in several colors at the end of March. The code heard, Round the World was the catalyst for Max Mara creative director Ian Griffith's fall 2019 collection, which he described during a preview as a thorough analysis of how clothes empower. The man wasn't kidding, he hit the books, brushing up on works by feminist thinkers Camille Paglia and Roxanne Gay. Incidentally, Thursday's show was held at the modern, light-filled Bocconi University, with the next generation of female leaders looking on from above, an enlightened choice during a season when Melanie's designers seem to be discovering the value of new venues and contexts. We always talk about clothes empowering women, but how do they really? What was it about that coat that made Nancy Pelosi wear it on that particular day, Griffith said, noting Paglia's assertion that clothing is actually a female advantage. Men are restricted by conventions of dress and women aren't. There is a whole host of different personae and tricks women can use to empower themselves, he said. The fall collection was an exploration of some of them, including monochromatic dressing, statement coats in wider, shorter, boxier silhouettes, leggy skirts and thigh-high Wonder Woman-worthy boots that recalled the 90s, while managing to avoid falling into the too-retro trap. U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wore Max Mara's 2012 brick red, high collar coat in December during a showdown over the government shutdown with President Trump. Andrew Harnick, AP, Rex, Shutter Shock Griffith started the show of force with a revival of the 90s era supermodel runway march. The trio, wearing monochrome turquoise, royal blue and yellow looks combining tone-on-tone -tone boyfriend cardigans over coats, mini skirts and over-the-knee boots, recreated a moment when Naomi, Christy and Linda came down the Max Mara runway together in 1991. It sent the crowd tittering. The mini skirt looked fresh, especially in nylon with utility zipper details, and worn with a blouse and top. So did the long trouser skirt under a bomber jacket. Reaching into the archives, Griffiths created prints from past designers' sketches for the house, including one from the dearly departed Karl Lagerfeld, who worked for Max Mara for two years in the 70s. And while the idea was certainly dressed to impress, he nodded to the comfort revolution with a sweatshirt with utility pouch detail, sensible belt bags and a renewed focus on knitwear in the same spirit as the brand's snuggly coats, namely fuzzy, oversized sweaters and animal-patterned sweater dresses. The brand's signature overcoats were given new life and power colors, conjuring the idea of coat as an outfit maker. With an eye toward warmth without using fur, Griffiths offered a quilted version of the house's famous camel coat with camel hair stuffing, rather than feathers or down, and recreated the look of a shearling, only an alpaca bound in leather. Naturally, the Hitetti coat was here, as worn by everyone from Kris Jenner to Haley Baldwin, in several new colors, and for a finale, a version in a snugger silhouette and black lyrics. And no, the famous Pelosi coat did not come down the runway. It didn't have to.